That's because he's them. He went like that yesterday. Did you see yesterday? Went, she was like... <laughs> moved on. That's the, uh, the Dan <laughs> Thomas well, special right there. This is normal. You seem to have ignored that. You're not having a bash. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not uh, how much better are they? You think these improvements are, are more than what Arsenal have done? You think Liverpool strengthened their squad better? Uh, well, strengthened it better? Well, they, well, they've only signed two players. Yeah? Well, Arsenal have signed three at the moment. So. Okay. But, uh, you know, it's good signings on the face of it from, from Liverpool. Uh, both players, particularly McAllister. I think hoping Liverpool have a good season, like all the teams. I mean, I, I want to see the teams that are realistically going to challenge, challenge. Because you think this team can realistically challenge off a fifth place finish? I think it depends what start they get away to, and uh, we're going to find out quickly if, if if last year, particularly the first half, was just a blip, uh, and whether Fabinho can find that form again, and whether Darwin Nunes comes in and or uh, and eventually starts scoring the goals, or or Gakpo is going to have to pick up the slack as he did at the end of last year. And then you have the Alexander-Arnold question that just won't go away in terms of his defensive duties and, and how they're going to operate with him. Like Maybe they'll do what they did at the end of last season and we'll see him in the middle of the park more often than he was at, at fullback. But I think if Liverpool got off to a good start and get their confidence up, possibly, yes. we got a lot of time left, Stevie, in the window. Where else would you have Liverpool spend money? Defensively. I see, well, I, I, that, looking at that team that's on, on, that we just saw, and in general, going forward, they're on paper anyway. Seems that Liverpool have got have got talent. They've got it sorted. The question of needing strengthening in the midfield has been taken care of. They've got five forwards for three positions. That that looks in good shape. My worry is what happens defensively. Mm. Liverpool lost just under 50 goals in the Premier League last year. 50. You have to address that. And I guess at the start of the season, considering that they haven't signed another centre-back, because Matty, for me, doesn't do it anymore. Uh, I think Joe Gomez doesn't do it anymore either. And so the two centre-backs, Canati and Van Dijk, need somebody to be pushing them and kicking them up the backside. But they also need to get back to basics as far as Klopp coaching the back line. Because you cannot win anything when you're losing nearly 50 goals a season. So that would be my worry. The back line is the one thing I look at and I wonder what we're going to get. I have no problem in the middle. I have no problem in the front. Defensively, what we're going to get. And until the, until the ball's kicked, we absolutely don't know. I tell you, it's a, I think it's a big season for Van Dijk. Hmm. Huge. As the best defender they've got, as, their, one of their, as the leader, as the guy who marshals the back line, he got... A fair chunky criticism last year, and I, and I think rightly so. And he was kind of uh, didn't didn't kind of like it coming his way. And I mean, it wasn't all his fault. I mean, he didn't he had some some poor defending around about him. But he 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 was far from his best yeah. last year. If Liverpool are going to challenge, as Stevie mentioned, that's the, one of the big areas they have to fix. And he is one of the keys to making sure that defence is a lot more solid than it was. Otherwise. I mean, if you look at Man City last year, everyone would talk about Haaland's goals. Everyone just talks about Gundogan and De Bruyne and all that. For the most part, that back line, no matter who he played, was, up, was rock solid. Man City, that is. And Liverpool need to do something similar. Uh, Luis, you agree with Stevie? Do Liverpool need to strengthen in defence? 100%. I think they, they both have a spot, a spot on what Liverpool needs at the moment. Of course... That question about the right back position, I know that Alexander Arnold has been uh, in a lot of talks uh, everywhere. Is he is he going to continue in that right position, get into the middle, or they are going to find someone to replace him and then allow him to get a little bit more next to him? We we saw what happened when he played into the middle when he played for for the national team. So it, it's been proven that he can play in that position. So is the team going to try to find someone else there in the right back position and of course bring someone else? to numbers. We've been talking about Declan Rice arriving, uh, about players uh, arriving to different teams to support the players that you got in the 11 starter. because if you want to challenge Manchester City, Arsenal, United, you need players who can keep that consistency. That when you receive or have some injuries, you replace them with players who can keep that consistency. And I think Liverpool last year struggled very much with the injuries of Konate, when they of Van Dijk, Joe Gomez had a lot of injuries. 
And then when Fabinho wasn't in, the, in that 100% uh, moment, you know that the team struggles very much when Fabinho is not in the perfect situation. I suppose, oh, sorry, I suppose Luis Diaz is almost like a... It's not a new signing, but it might feel that mm. one having him back a full pre-season and having him fit again because there's not, although they had those defensive problems last year, there's no doubt they missed him uh, going forward, particularly when Mane goes and then you don't have Diaz through injury as well. So having him back will be huge. Stevie, you mentioned five attackers for three spots. We saw that projected Liverpool 11. I think that was yeah. your work. Walk us through the, the big decisions there for Klopp and why you've gone with the front three that you went with. Well, I think Gakpo has shown that he's clearly the, the successor for Firmino. You know, he, he, he likes to go forward himself, but he certainly tries to knit it together. Hasn't quite done it as well as Firmino used to, uh, but certainly that's one of, his, one of his traits. Craig says Diaz. If he's 100% fit, he plays, because you know he's going to terrorise Emdy and he's going to score goals. And the same with Salah. So I, I, I think that, to me, would be the clear, unless something crazy happens um, in pre-season, because... Sometimes it does. I think Nunez and Jota are the two looking in, uh, and they have to make sure they take the chances if and when they get an opportunity. Uh, and I actually think that, that Jota could be the man out mm. amongst the, the five of them uh, more than anybody, which, which to me would suggest that maybe come the next transfer window, he might want to move on. What does that leave Nunez, though? 120 million. Plus, coming on when coming off the bench. Tired, I think at the moment. What do you mean 120 million plus? It wasn't 120 million. What was it? 80. 80 plus the add-ons. It was 40 million amongst friends. It was 40 million amongst <laughs> friends. <laughs> yeah. it won a, oh. 200 million. I'm sorry. About that <laughs> well, listen, listen if you, want, that you, you can look at it two <laughs> ways. You can definitely turn around and say, look, for 80 million, you want to finish that. 120. I don't think any. You know, you could, but at the same time. Have a look around the Premier League and look at the money people are spending on, on, on players that, that maybe don't even have that potential. That so he's had. not a boss. Can we split yeah. the difference? I did think it was 100. Yeah. I mean, so see, we'll split the, the, guys had, the guys had one season. 80, 120. Oh, I was thinking in pesos, sorry. Nunes, Nunes... <laughs> uh, I mean, straight away, right off the bat, you just said, is he a bust already? I mean, that's... This guy's never been given a chance by anybody, including well, you, you. You're not putting him in the you're starting just, lineup. Yeah, he's a young player. He's a young. He, okay, when, but now it's not signed, the first season anymore. Hold on a so second. Now it's the when second. Signed, How many seasons? This, let's get this right. Okay. When he was signed, did anybody at Liverpool tell us this guy's the present? This guy's this guy's going to start now. What, the this transfer guy's going he to told be, us that, Stevie. The transfer he says. It. Are you going to are you going to let me finish? Yes. Well, the transfer fee doesn't always tell you that. Does it? Doesn't always tell you that. The guy was brought in as a future. He's 24, though. But yeah, after about four months, everybody was on his back. Four months and they were on his back when they were told that the guy's the future. And we haven't even. He's had one season. Could it have been better? Probably. But he certainly showed potential. He certainly shows what he's capable of. And, and he looks as though he's definitely got more in his locker. But yet we haven't even kicked to get the kick to season off, and you're asking me if he's a bust. I mean, well, come because, on, because you're not putting Seriously. him in the eleven. If you'd have he's put him no in the eleven, chance. it's a different Unless conversation. Unless he scores a hat trick every game, in your eyes, he's a bust already. Well, if he scores give a hat trick, you'll get in your team. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you're the, the one, you're the one keeping him out of the I mean, eleven. Listen, if the guy gets a run of games and solidifies his position, and all of a sudden somebody else is on the outs, then. <laughs> Then we can start talking about a different conversation. But to come out with that part straight away, okay. come on. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.